It's time for Sideline Bling, and with Copa Libertadores nearing its quarterfinal stage, we decided to kick off this week's episode with Fitz Kids and Kids. Yes, Danny, Adidas has launched the 2020-2021 River Plate Away Kit, bringing back the 2012-2013 fan favorite stripe that marked the club's return to La Primera División. And I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of the color red, but this jersey is really nice. And like every year, this new kit was launched on El Día Internacional de Incha de River, International River Day. And my name in Spanish is Rios River. Hmm, should I get this jersey? I think you should. Crossing over to the other side of Buenos Aires, Boca Juniors classified to Copa Libertadores' 2020 quarterfinal stage and with their Adidas third kit already released. It's inspired in the mystical Bombonera, the yellow jersey celebrates its 80th anniversary, and the blue stripes play an allusion to the stadium staircase. But, Eli, we must highlight Racing Club's black, gold, and beautiful Kappa kits. Okay, one thing, that Racing Club one reminds me a lot of the Barcelona one that I have behind me, and two, the Boca one is a nice, very nice yellow jersey, but I'm not gonna lie, and I'm not Argentinian, but I have to go with River Play over Boca. Sorry, not sorry. From South America, now we're gonna head over to Africa and we're gonna talk about Nike releasing the full Nigeria collection. I am a huge fan of everything, the jerseys, the jackets, the Yeehaw. It is gorgeous to die for. I want this full collection in my closet. I think Nigeria every year just kills it with all their kits. And I know this one is gonna be on everyone's Christmas list this year. Marseille has launched their new music label called Ohm Records. Ohm, just kidding. According to Get French Football News, they will be focusing on rap, R&B, and pop genres, aiming to get Memphis Depay on their band, maybe? Or, I don't know, I just hope it's not full of diss tracks, please. I mean, maybe this is a, a way to get Memphis to come to the team. Maybe not, maybe they just wanna sign him into the record, cause you know, he already has some singles out, which we're we're not fans of. A couple of months ago, we revealed the brand new cover star of FIFA 2021. And of course, it was none other than Kylian Mbappe, which we were so excited about. And Kylian Mbappe posted on Twitter the PR box of the game, and it is so cute. I know everybody's gonna go crazy for this game and play every day. It must be so surreal to get that in the mailbox or something. Like, you are on the cover of FIFA 21. I love it. Wow. All right, everyone, I want to personally thank Rafael Nadal for reminding everyone that my birthday is on May 12th. He rocked this number on his Nikes at Roland Garros, also reminding everyone he is keen with 12 Coupe de Mosqueter. Um, first of all, I don't think he did it for your birthday, but I think it's a cool design, but not for my shoe game. Myers Leonard is for sure having fun in the bubble now that the Heat have been facing the Lakers in the NBA Finals. Here we see him playing a game of horse with his wife who is in the bubble with him and he's of course dominating the game against her. I love that they're having fun and I know Myers Leonard is keen of H-O-R-S-E, but where is the Leonard's D-O-G? I know everyone in the world was wondering which Simpsons character is Mark Cucurella's favorite and he finally showed the world by showing off his boxers. And I think we can all go home in peace now because we already know which Simpsons character is his favorite. Yes, I think that's all for this week on Sideline Blink. But you guys, we'll see you on the next one. I'm Ellie Jaimes with Daniela Rios. Bye.